This is not me placing this Devil's Club above the entryway. This is my namesake, Hinde. He's Deshutan from Ang... Well, he's from Klawak, but he lived in Angoon, and that's who gave me his name. Eh, Jish. So that, so that there's no misunderstanding with respect to what my father's people just did. There is nothing magical with respect to these, to these devil clubs. This devil club comes from the earth. It's nurtured by the entire environment. And what it represents it represents being able to come through a lot. And so as we stand here and we look at that humble devil's club, we realize that it's come through a lot just like the way our people have come through a lot just so we could be standing here right now. That's what that means. It isn't something that we worship. It isn't something that is used to scare away bad things. It's there to remind us and keep our spirits humble about who we are, where we come from, and what we're about to do. This is for me, this is for my ancestors. This is my uncle Justin, Clarence Jackson. This is my grandfather Henry. Good cook, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yuck, eh, yeah. Yuck, yeah. Yuck, eh, yeah. yeah. Who's teen woo to at the yeah? Ya hit dot ha. Ha to woo yuck, eh, dot ha. What's up to cut ye to ne? A dot ye to ne a dot. Hard oo a two cox a tea ha. Just a two hours ago. Ya dot as quani city in ha. Achawe. Hot shakao yes and the canoe ha. Custi in ha. Ya as quani. You don't go a hassle wound now, Haji, yes, ha. Yeah, what's the carno, ha? Where else in the woo has wood to do? Ah, cards yak has to do woo. A duck away has a fish nut, ha. So shut the gun. A chow a year to a tear dot. Got two years, ya. Hit ha to a do so car to the ye to ne has to ji woo has a tea ha. Ashko ye twas go ye wa kai way. Cards has a juno chaka. Not shut e khan. Not shut e khan. Got to say ye you han. Ashkawa. Kunukatlatin, ha ha, you katangi. Ha tu ikenuch. Ye tu ye ha, you han, ha tu woods no chai de deshe. Achtuasi go, ye siku, tat kataya. Ye siku a hunk, down a walk. Who are ha ye in flat ha? Talk cock, cock plain. Do you see me? I am. So you are the host. 
Marlene Brian Wallace, too. <laughs> Kaguantan, no wait, I'm sorry. You're Kaguantan. <laughs> but your dad was Takhtain Tan. Jadekhanu. Yeoch, Tashukwa, Isaku. Long ago, our parents looked, or our ancestors looked at the trees, and they were a living thing. But now they have given their lives to be a, to be a house is why we're looking at it today. And when they dropped the tree, they would use a long stick and they would hit that tree with the stick. Hold your temper. Hold your temper. We're going to use you. We're going to use you. And I refer to the people who will be working in here is also in that reference too, that they're going to be used. You will be communicating with the public. You will be communicating with the nation. You will be communicating with the world. And they'll look upon it. That is why I would like you to think in that fashion. Called upon the answers to be with us, that every one of us, not only eagles but ravens, would be helped and be strengthened and protected. The way our people were a long time ago, you are seeing how our people were. We spoke to one another to give words of encouragement to one another. To tell each other, ye do I one, ye do I one. Ye Be of good courage. Ye kote. Be of good courage. Ya hafi go as de ka na kawayan tu at ya yi ki. Awe. The road, the path has already been prepared for us to walk. And we are walking on that path together. Okay. Eagle and Raven, okay. Haida and Simsian, we're walking okay. together. Yai dat koa, ye awe akhlil kuncha koa khan, juakhlil kagach ye khat yau shika. Ya an kat ye guti, ye hiti. My grandfather James Clannard of the Thunderbird and my grandmother Gaget of the Thunderbird clan said to me as a child, when you come into your land, when you come into your building, your house, your home, you are going to stomp your feet and you're going to take it. It's something that is humble for us to do. 
It's like when a ptarmigan starts stomping its feet and it starts moving around. It's taking its territory. It's showing the other ptarmigans and the other creatures the land that it owns. This is Slingit Ani. So all of us here today, I want us all to stomp our feet as I sing a little bit of a chant. Okay? I'm not going to do it very long. Just stomp your feet like this, okay? So here we go. You're joining in with us. Okay. And this is the acknowledgement we give not just to the people that are here, but the earth that we stomp because we love this land. Our remains of our ancestors are in this land. That is the reason we love the land of our fathers, of our grandfathers. I'm going to ask this young man here to come up here and join us. He's kind of a real quiet type of individual. I guess maybe some of you guys who, some of you guys who know him, maybe he's not. But from the time that he's been in a position that he holds, I have seen him there, whether it's in school or in an occasion like what's happening here right now. We're fortunate to have you here, and Albert, for you as well, and you, Rosita, and Paul, and the Ravens, thank you so much for being here. We've chosen, we've taken what's, what's here. So, yeah, what he. And the cheese. Go ahead. Here. Oh, Akwan. Oh, I'm being reminded. This is Akwan land. And the cheese. And we're acknowledging that this belongs not only to the Tlenedi people, but the Wushkitan people. Not only the Wushkitan people, but also the Ghana Adi people. Uh -huh. Not only the Ghana Adi people, but the Yanyedi people. And so we're on their land, and uh, I appreciate you reminding me now. <laughs> In my old age, I'm beginning to forget the kind of things that I should be able to do. Ho hopefully my belly button was not showing too much. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, David. if you want to say a couple, of words. a couple of words, I think this is a great facility and I'm looking forward to this being a center point for downtown Juneau, that, uh, that people will come here from all over Southeast Alaska and all over the world to see what it's what it's like to be part of the clicking culture. So I, I appreciate all the work that Rosita and Albert and you, David, and Paul, and everybody else has put into making this happen. Jeez. Jeez. Just to take a second to talk about my father's brother, Walter Sobolev. And many of you know that he was from Angoon, which is my home, but he was my father's brother. And uh, this name, Vasily, was named after him. And for those of you, and I'm sure you all know Dr. Sobola. I knew him probably as best as anybody, because I was raised almost like when my dad died, he took my dad's place. 
So I've known him forever. But Dr. Sobloff would be extremely proud of this building. People like Marlene and Rosita and Roger Lang and people who, some of them who aren't here anymore, Clarence Jackson, helped us name this building, helped us put up this building. And we're really pleased that on behalf of Dr. Sobloff's family and my father and his family, I want to thank everybody who's here today. Dr. Sobloff was an important person to every one of you, to all of us. This is a great honor for him, for Dr. Sobloff, the Raven Dog Salmon people. My wife is here from the Raven Dog Salmon clan. I want to acknowledge her because this is an important part for all of us. Not all of us are going to get a building named after us. Probably none of us. But Dr. Sobolov was so important to us. So important to us as a culture bearer, as a father, as an uncle, as a brother, as a cousin. So thank you all for remembering him today. When you look at this building, you remember him. Someone once said when I was a lot younger that people die twice. One, when they pass from this earth and their soul leaves and the second time when people forget about them. Mm. We're not going to forget Dr. Sobola. Yeah. Yeah, thank you all Jesus. for that. Jesus. Jesus. Marlene? <coughs> On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Alaska Heritage Foundation, I want to thank the staff. I want to thank particularly Rosita and Lee for the hard work over these years that, that have brought to fruitation this building that we are so proud of. And Walter, let me tell you, Albert, I probably knew Walter a little bit longer than you because I knew your dad very well. But Walter and Clarence, I'm sure are here. But while the two gentlemen were speaking, I saw it, and I know Brian saw it, the, e the ravens were flying. They landed on the building. They took off and they flew around. My ancestors were here. <laughs> and, and for that, I, I just want to say, I am so proud, my heart is so full. When I see this coming to fruition, it is, it's going to be a legacy to see Alaska. And Dr. World, you've done a wonderful job. And, and I just got to say that anybody that criticizes little things, doesn't matter. It's the big things, and this is one of the big things. And Albert, for all of your help, not only as Sea Alaska chairman, but in the Senate, getting us money so we could get this done. Finish cheese. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, I just wanted to say that this is just a little ceremony for us to move into the building. We're now moving into the building, and we're going to have the grand opening ceremony on May 15th. So mark your calendars and be prepared to participate in the great ceremony opening up the building to the public. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank